Hello, contrarian capitalists. Hope you are well. Very interesting news coming out of Moscow that uh, supposedly there's been a drone attack on the Kremlin uh, in an attempt to assassinate Vladimir Putin. So the ever the ever favourable <laughs> BBC uh, goes with Kremlin drone. Zelensky denies Ukraine attacked Putin or Moscow. Now, the thing is, I can actually well believe that. And that would seem like a bit of a dopey move for Ukraine to try and pull out, to try and attack the Kremlin, uh, Russia in general, and to try and get rid of Putin. What's interesting here, quite simply, is that I mean, no one really knows who's behind it. It's like Nord Stream 2. You, know, you can get the old us tinfoil hatters on the case. We can look at things and go, well, Nord Stream 2 could have been the USA, it could have been the UK, it could have been a combination of both. And here, we're going to have to look at the same thing. We don't 100% know what's gone on. And of course, are we really going to sit here and trust the mainstream media spin on it? Uh, chances are we're not really going to do that. Ukraine's come out and denied it. I, I'm not going to sit here and point fingers. I'm none the wiser. But... Let's put our sceptical hat on. Let's put our pragmatical hats on. And let's look at it this way. If someone goes out and takes out Putin, is that going to make the situation better or is it going to make the situation worse? I'd be inclined to say it would make the situation worse. And the reason for that is that... From our understanding, Putin, although he certainly has his faults like anyone else does, he is much loved in Russia. Now, if you take him out, then you might find that the Russian people in general might rise up and go, no, we've had enough of this, and go to war. China might retaliate. Who knows? We don't really know what's going to happen. Um, uh, you know, unless such an event happens itself. But for those out there that say, well, it'd be better if, you know, so and so's dead and all of this sort of stuff, I'd be careful what you wish for. Now, what is clear, or what is potentially clear, is that Ukraine probably didn't do this at all. The finger's being pointed at them because, you know, they're at war. We have to look at the bigger picture. It's NATO and the West versus, okay? NATO have continually increased their border space since 1991 or so. And that's continually hemming Russia in. You know, Finland are the latest people to join NATO. They've got a big border with Russia. Russia's feeling hemmed in. Now, Russia has been quite clear before and said, don't, you know, don't attack us. Don't keep it, don't expand NATO anymore. There will be consequences. NATO try and expand once more. Funnily enough, the consequences come. So we've got to take that into consideration. Going back to this article, uh, it says a Russian president's office said defenses down two drones overnight. It threatened to retaliate when and where it considered necessary. Now, I think that's perfectly understandable if there was a drone attack and this has happened then to retaliate is understandable i think you know being here in in england if someone went and done the same thing to to the king or you know houses of the parliament etc you know chances are we would probably react some in some way shape or form i'm not going to go and read for the whole article uh, it's basically Russia says X has happened. Ukraine says, no, it's not us. It's going to be someone else. I would agree more than likely that it is going to be someone else. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and point fingers, but I wouldn't be surprised if uh, NATO and the West and uh, predominantly the USA are involved in this. But, you know, let, let's see what happens with this. Um, it's quite a scary development, this, I'm not going to lie. Uh, not necessarily... If Putin, for example, does get assassinated, 
uh, that event would be very bad. And the reason for that is that the consequences from that are probably going to be very, very bad. So we always have to be careful with what we wish for. And look, let's not take the mainstream media narrative. Let's let's get thinking and think about who actually could have potentially done this. I'll see you in the next video.